What's up, everybody? It's Coach Kramer, and today we're breaking down how to shoot off the back pedal featuring our guy, Vito Brown. Oh, and Poye felt that one as he hit the deck. All right, let's get into it. It's important at high-level basketball, whether it's college or pro, the players utilize how to move without the basketball in order to be effective. And you have to remember, every college and pro player, nearly every one, was the best player on their high school basketball team. So the players that can pick up how to be effective when the ball's not in their hands the entire time end up getting more playing time, getting more reps, because they're easy to plug in to different systems. And Vito's been a great example of that this season. Now in this video, I wanna talk specifically about how Vito's been very successful shooting off of a ball screen into a back pedal or setting screens and getting into a back pedal. If you're a high school player, college player, and you're getting the screen, these could be some good tips for you on how to come off of a flare screen when you're in a back pedal and be able to knock that shot down. Now there's three things he does well that immediately come to mind. Number one, and most importantly, he has great balance off of a back pedal. He has a wide base. Most players, when they're in a back pedal, whether it's picking and popping or getting a flare screen, they're going back too fast. They catch the basketball, still going backwards off balance, and almost always miss the shot short. The second thing that he does really well is he has his hips back before the basketball arrives. Having your hips back and a slight knee bend allows you to be able to catch the basketball and get immediately up into your shot or be able to rip it, shot fake it, jab it. And get into a drive. This goes into one of my biggest pet peeves watching high school basketball is how many players catch it standing straight up. I hate that. And the third thing he does really well is he has his hands in a shooting position before the basketball has arrived. He can catch the basketball, find the seams, and immediately get up into a shot. And this is one of the reasons why he has such a quick release. So we've talked about being on balance, keeping your hips back, and showing your hands before the basketball arrives. Here's some more detailed tips on how you can maintain your balance anytime you're coming in a back pedal during a game. The better shooter you become, the more important it is to be able to move without the basketball and get open. Shooting off the back pedal is key, and remaining on balance is key when you're shooting off the back pedal. So I'm gonna touch the basketball here and go into a back pedal sprint. I need to maintain my balance, and so what I do is, I'm a right-handed player, I'm gonna put my right foot back to get my balance correct, and then I can step in, meet the pass, and then go up into my shot. Mike is a lefty, he's gonna drop his left foot back. But do not catch the basketball while your momentum is still taking you backwards whether you're a step shooter or a hop shooter, you're gonna miss the basketball, you're gonna miss the shot short almost every time. It's what it looks like. You can use a back foot load, which I got from one of the best shooting coaches I've ever met, Coach Mitchell from Hope College. You can use that to stop your momentum. Or you can back pedal into a slightly wider stance and use a little more of a side step as you step into your shot or hop into your shot, which Vito uses in this next clip. This type of footwork is great for pro and college basketball, especially if you're someone who's going to backpedal into corner threes because you don't want to step out of bounds. Uh, when I was playing basketball in Europe, this was something that I did just like Vito does in that video where you're backpedaling to the corner, but instead of sticking the right foot back, you're getting it out to the side and then still able to step in for your shot. So remember to maintain your balance on the backpedal, keep your hips back so you're loaded to go, and show the hands before the basketball arrives. Thanks for checking out our video today. Shout out to Vito uh, for letting me do a shooting breakdown on him. I hope those tips help you, especially if you're a player that needs to improve how they move without the basketball in order to be more effective in a game. If you like this video, feel free to share it with somebody else and uh, you can subscribe to our channel as we'll try to get out at least two solid videos every single month. Peace.